Hello. So, for some reason today I had the strangest urge to vlog. I've never done one before. I did. I've done a couple of videos with my sister right before our trip to Peru to explain what our goal was while we were there. But for some reason today, this morning, I was really wanting to put a video on Instagram about what my morning was like. But the 15 seconds wasn't long enough for what I had to say. So, um, this morning we were all running really low on sleep because we went to see the Hunger Games movie premiere last night, which was amazing and totally worth it. But we ended up not getting to sleep until really, really late. And I'm vlogging. Oh, cool. <laughs> Um, and so yeah, the movie was fantastic, and so after that I had to get home and do homework, I had a Shakespeare speech <coughs> thing I had to do for one of my classes, um, and I wanted to have it done before the movie, but I couldn't, um, some family issues came up and that took my time away because it was, no offense to the class, more important than the assignment at the time, and I just, I'm used to doing assignments late at night anyways, <coughs> so, or early morning, so I didn't get to sleep until about 6.30 in the morning, slept for a few hours, and it was not a very good sleep, I fell asleep on the couch, um, and then... Adrian had to get up for work at 6.30, same time I was awake when his alarm went off. And then Gianna had to get up for school, although she ended up going in late. And uh, <coughs> I had to take Gianna to school late. And so following that, I had an interview. And it was this interview that I really wanted to vlog about. So after dropping Gianna off, or, yeah, after taking her and running another errand for her, I finally got home. Um, actually, no. I dropped her off, and then I had my interview, and then I was going to run an errand for her. And so, as I said, I was running really behind on sleep and really tired, obviously cranky. I um, didn't have very much sleep the past few nights. Anyways other doing other homework other assignments because it's like end of the school year so all these finals assignments and stuff like that so um yeah I had this interview to go to and whenever I had to wake up for it to take Jonah to school I it was one of those painful kind of ways to wake up whenever it literally hurt you to have to wake up how tired I was and it was very very difficult and I was running through scenarios in my head, like, what if I missed it? If I can call in, I'm like, no, Melissa, that's bad. That's not professional. And I really needed to have this interview done. Really high hopes that I'll get the job for it. And um, so I told Gianna, I was like, I have this interview, but I'm cranky. So... I have to put my cranky Melissa behind me and put my happy Melissa in front of me. And a lot of you that do know me, I, I kind of have a reputation of being cranky the majority of the time. But uh, through my experiences in life, um, being a group fitness instructor, you learn to put on a performance, an act, as you teach. And you teach yourself to be friendlier to people. You gain social skills through the jobs that you have. And so I've just learned to be able to put that happy self forward in times of distress. And so I'm on my way to the interview and mentally preparing myself, telling cranky Melissa to go away and prepping myself to be happy. And I started realizing the smile that I was putting on a smile for the people and they have no idea what's going on with me. 
and I'd always heard the saying that uh, the people that smile the most often are usually the cry the most or something along those lines. And not that I cry a bunch or anything. Um, but I never understood it at first. But then this morning I finally did. And I was like, I'm putting on a smile for people. And they have no idea what's going on with me. And so I started thinking about that and all the people that do that every day. They smile for their friends, for their family, their brothers and their sisters, their mom or dad. Whoever it is that might be distressed and whenever they think it's their job to make people happy and it's their responsibility that's what they do they they do their best to make others happy and they smile but everyone has their cranky days their downfalls their struggles their hurt and I realized today that I was one of those people I was having to put on that smile and I wanted to commend everyone out there today that had to do that the same as me even in worse situations I want to commend everyone that put on a smile today despite the struggle that they're dealing with and so that's really what I wanted to vlog about and say and if you hear this and it inspires you or it helps you um, and if you need someone to talk to, there's someone there for you. Um, I'm here, as silly as that might sound, um, and know that there are people who care about you too, and keep smiling.